Hey everybody, I'm here to show you today how to make uh, Shakeology. Some people have asked me how I mix my recipe together and how I blend it. So I'm going to show you how we do that so you have a better idea of what goes in it and uh, how yummy it really can be. Alright, check it out. Okay, to get started, um, first I want to say that there are many different ways that you can blend your Shakeology. Everybody has their own favorite recipes and I switch between three or four different recipes but my standby my very favorite recipe is the one that I'm going to make today and it's chocolate peanut butter banana so I'm going to go through the ingredients first and then I'll put it together and we'll see what it looks like when it's done alright so first off we have um, the Shakeology packet so here's the chocolate packet sometimes I get the packets and sometimes I get the big bag of chocolate um, but I like a variety so I get the the uh, barista pack sometimes then I have almond milk. Um, what I have in that cup there is four ounces, so half a cup of almond milk. And then I have water. Usually uh, I put about eight ounces or a cup of water. In my Nutribullet cup I already have some ice. I have four, four cubes there. Sometimes I put six, but I'm having frozen bananas today, so that'll be uh, cold enough. Then I have uh, a tablespoon, no, a teaspoon, excuse me, of uh, almond butter, natural almond butter. Sometimes I put natural peanut butter in instead for a different taste, but I like Trader Joe's almond butter, so I put that in. And then I have uh, my frozen bananas there and my Nutribullet where I will make it. So let me get the ingredients in there. Okay, now everything's in there. Um, everything's in there, except for, I forgot, the Shakeology, so I'll put that in. Okay, now we got everything in there. Let's get it all in there. Very nice. Sometimes then I'll add a little bit more water if I want more volume. This one's going to be pretty thick with the frozen bananas and the ice cubes. Um, so sometimes I add some more water, but I'll leave it as is for today. All right, so now my lid for my Nutribullet is on. By the way, the Nutribullet is awesome. I started making these out in a blender, which is fine. You put everything in the blender, and then you, and then you have to pour it into a cup. What I like about the Nutribullet is it's got its own cup. So I'm going to put it on. It's going to be loud. It? And I push down. off. So there it is. I took the lid off. There it is done. And it's pretty thick. If I put my straw in there, you can see it's pretty thick. Yummy. It's like a milkshake. And so then what I do, got that dirty, is sometimes I put on, um, I have a hand, I have a, a screw top that came with it with a handle. It doesn't have a lid though. And it came with a lid as well that I use, but I also got these lids um, from Amazon. They're, they're, I got two of them in a pack for $10 and um, these reusable straws. I was going through a lot of straws. So I got these four reusable straws. I think they were like $7. So I put them on. And there you go. There's my Shakeology for this morning. Swish it around. Um, sometimes if I feel like it's too thick, I'll just put some more water in it now and just swish it around. But there you go. Super yummy. I'm looking forward to drinking my breakfast this morning. There you have it. Now you know how I make Shakeology. If you'd like to try some yourself, I do have some packets that you can uh, sample it. I have cafe latte flavored, chocolate flavored, and vanilla flavored. So let me know if you're interested, and I'll ship them out in the mail as soon as possible. Thanks. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.